Hi, and welcome back to section 5, Hair and Particle System Techniques. In this section, we will be going over how to use the particle system within Blender to populate our scene. In the last section, we went over how to add lights to our scenes using the different lamps available. During this section, we will be going over instancing leaves and trees using a particle hair system within Blender. We'll also go over forming the terrain of our background scene, and then finally go over adding firefly particles to make our scene look more interesting. In this video, we'll be going over instancing leaves within Blender. Throughout this video, we'll learn how to add a hair particle system, how to instantiate existing objects, and then finally how to add position influence using weight painting. The first thing we are going to do is open up the file that we saved in the last section. After this, we are going to select our ground terrain. I will then press T to bring up the toolbar and then under shading, we will select smooth. Again, I'm going to press T to get rid of the toolbar. We'll then scroll out and move our window towards the right. Here, I'm going to go over to the particles tab and then click new particle system. From here, we'll select leaves and then as the type, we'll choose hair. After this, we'll also select advanced. Now that we have selected this option, we have additional parameters to choose from. Here I'm going to choose random, and then I'm going to scroll down. I will also add an emission random here. We'll increase the random size to roughly 0.7, and then increase the size here to 0.1. After this, we'll add some Brownian forces, and then move down further. Once we get to the render panel here, we are going to select object, and then under the dupli object, we are going to scroll down until we find leaf. If you do not wish to scroll, you can simply type LEA, and this will be our leaf object. Now that we have selected the leaf object, every instance of a hair has been replaced with the mesh. If we go down here to layer 2, we can see that this is the mesh that is being used. Here what I'm going to do is go back to layer 1 and then scroll up. We will now select the rotation field, and then select this arrow to move it down. Here I'm going to allow some random on both of these axes. I will then go back to layer 2. Here what we are going to do is change the rotation of this mesh to change the rotation of all the particles. In this case, what we want to do is rotate it on the x-axis 90 degrees. Here, I'm going to press R, X, 90 to rotate it 90 degrees. Now, if we go to layer 1, we can see that not much has changed. So what we need to do is on layer 2, we have to select our object, and then press Ctrl A and apply rotation. After this, when we go back to layer 1, you can see that all of the leaves have changed. Here we can see that if we scroll in, all of the leaves are below the surface. To move the leaves above the ground, we are going to go over to layer 2, and then we are going to select it. Here we are going to press tab and go into edit mode. We will then move it along the Y axis, and then press O to turn off proportional editing. After this, I'm going to press tab and go back to object mode. Notice how here, we have only moved it a small amount. In this case, if we were to move it a large amount, and then go to object mode, we can see that on layer 1, all of our leaves are above the ground, but they are above the ground by a certain height, and here we can see that there is a gap. What we wish to do, is go over to layer 2, and decrease this amount as small as possible. In this case, we want a fairly small gap. Once we've done this, we can press tab and go back to object mode. And now, if we go to layer 1, we can see that all of our leaves are placed nicely. The next thing we are going to do, is select our ground mesh, and then press tab and go into weight painting mode. Here we can see, that currently everything is blue, and this indicates that we do not have any current weight painting applied. The reason we are adding weight painting, is so that we can take some of the leaves on the edges which we won't see, and bring them into the middle here. 
This way we do not need to increase the amount, but rather can just displace all of the ones on the edges into the current view. To do this, we are going to go over here and begin painting on some weights. In this case, what I'm going to do is paint on weights everywhere where we can see. I'm planning on having the camera looking at the root from this angle, so I'm going to paint on weights from this perspective. Here we can see that most of the weights have been painted on. To get a better view, we can press Z and go into wireframe. Now we can see more clearly without the particle system in the way. Here what I'm going to do is select all of these edges, especially in the front, and then I'm going to press tab and go back to object mode. Again, we'll press Z and go back into texture view. Here in the particle systems, we are going to increase the seed, and then we are going to scroll down. By adding weight painting, we have also in the mesh tab added a vertex group. This is similar to the armature we created in the first volume. Here what we are going to do is in the particle system, we are going to go all the way down to vertex groups, and then choose density to be our one vertex group. Here we can see that all of our leaves have been rearranged to the corresponding location. And now it looks like there is a lot more than there was before. The last thing I'm going to do is zoom in here and inspect the size of my leaves. In this case, some of the leaves here are quite large, especially in comparison to the small flower. So we are going to go over to the size and decrease this maybe to around 0.7. This will make it look a bit more realistic. Alternatively, we can also scale up this flower by pressing S. The last thing I'm going to do is get rid of the section in the back, as here we can only see this portion here, and we cannot see the leaves that are behind here or in the background here. To change this, we are going to press tab and go into weight paint mode. Again, we are going to press T to bring up the toolbar and select a weight of zero. We'll then press T to close it again. And here I'm going to draw zero over all these different vertices. In this case, as we let go of the brush, you can see that all of the particle system instances are being reorganized. Once I'm happy with the selection, I can then press tab and go back to object mode. Here we can see that this looks much better than before. The one thing I am missing is some leaves in the front here. To do this, we can check the weight paint mode and ensure that this part is red. Here I'm going to increase the weight and add it over top here. If that does not help, you can also go up the top here and either increase the amount, or under the seed we can increase the value. In this case, because we have random selected, this means a different seed will cause a different layout. And in some cases, you just need to choose a correct seed. The last thing I'm going to do is change the material of our leaves. To do this, I'm going to go over here and open up my menu. I'm then going to go over to layer 2 and select my leaf object. Once we've done this, we'll increase the window size and then move across. The first thing we'll notice is that when we render this out, all of the leaves will be the same color. To change this, we need to add another color to the leaves. Here what I'm going to do is press Shift A and then add myself an input as object info. Here we can see that this has a random plug, and we can use this to add some random color to our leaves. Here I'm going to press Shift A and under color we are going to select Mix RGB. We will then select the top node with the color input and output, and here I'm going to choose Darken. As the factor, we are going to choose Random. And here in the color, we are going to select a dark green value. Once we have selected this, we can now press Shift Z to enter rendered view. Now we can see that our leaves have some variation on them. In this case, if we change the color here, we can determine how intense the color is on our rendered output. Once we are happy with the selection, we can press Shift Z to enter back into normal view. Here I'm going to select the main plane and then go back into the particle system. When we rendered this out, you would have noticed that we didn't have many leaves. 
So here what we can do is we can increase the amount to 1500. Once we have done this, the amount may increase drastically. Another solution to this is to turn this down to 500 and then scroll all the way down to children. Here if we select simple, we can determine how many children are displayed for each different hair. In this case, it's going to display 10 children for each hair. Instead what we're going to do is change it to interpolated and then set the display to be 2. This will decrease the amount, but realistically it will still render a lot more. In this case we don't need 100, but rather only need 10. To double check the amount, we can display it in the viewport. This is definitely more than enough leaves. In this case we might even want less. For example 7. This may be a better amount. The more leaves we have in the scene, the longer it will take to render. Here again we can scroll down and add noise as well as other options to make it seem less obvious that we are using children. Here what we can do is introduce some random to make it seem a bit more spontaneous and then add other factors such as size and threshold. The next thing we're going to do is turn down length so they aren't too long and then perhaps increase the parting. The last thing I'm going to do is go over into the top right hand corner and drag across to the right. We now have our entire view with all these leaves. The very last thing we'll do is select our root object and then add a simple particle system to that. Here what we're going to do is scroll all the way to the top, add a new particle system, call this leaves2, and then again change it to hair, advanced, change the number to roughly 500, again select random, add some random in here, and then go all the way down to render, we'll select object, again choose leaf, and from here we can add some brownian, random size, and size from here. If we wish we can increase the randomness even more, but something like this should be good. If you aren't really happy with the results, we can either decrease the number of leaves we have on the object, for example 250, and this may make it look better. Here I'm happy with the result, so now I'm going to press Ctrl S and save. We have now successfully instanced leaves through a particle system.